Welcome to the Man Cave. It's Moxie here. Thanks for joining me today. It's all about retro arch and how to set your button configuration um, if you're using a Raspberry Pi. And um, I'm using a Raspberry Pi and a modded arcade one-up uh, Street Fighter II cabinet. I've turned into a Popeye cabinet. And uh, maybe you're not running MAME. Maybe you're doing something or you want to run Super Nintendo as well and Nintendo and Genesis, etc. But you're having trouble configuring the buttons. Well, I'm here to help you out. So we're going to take a look at a, um, a Super Nintendo controller. This is a Kiwitata. I got it off Amazon. I have my other uh, actual Super Nintendo controller above. You can't see it right now. These are great. I got two of these for like 18 bucks Canadian and they work really well. But we want to look at these because we need the B and the A and the Y and the X button and the right and the left shoulder buttons. And we need to configure that for certain games. Now, in emulators like uh, NES, you got two buttons. You can set it and forget it. But in Super Nintendo, you got a whole bunch of different configurations. So we're going to look at Street Fighter, for example. So what we need to do is get into our Retro Arch menu. To do that, we need to press our hotkey button and our X key button. And this is my hotkey. This is my X key. And we're going to be taken into the quick menu. If you start there, great. I think you probably will. So what you're going to do is go down with your joystick all the way down to controls. We're going to hit my A button, and that's going to take us into the controls. And we're going to go down to port one controls. That is player one, port one controls. Now, in regards to uh, a six-button setup, and as we said, the Super Nintendo is a six-button setup. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And on a soup on uh, pardon me on Street Fighter Two, you want your short, forward, and roundhouse kick on these buttons, and your jab, strong, and fierce uh, punches on these buttons. And the way it's set up in RetroArch, when you um, start uh, Super Nintendo games, it's not like that at all. So you have to go through a bit of configuration. So this, we're going to look here. There's a, looks like a lot of information. It's not bad. And it's out of order, so it's a little bit confusing. You want to avoid this. This is minus one, plus one, minus zero, plus zero. That's your joystick. Okay, so don't worry about that. So we're going to look for auto zero, okay, which is right here. We have six buttons. We're starting at auto zero, auto one, auto two, auto three, auto four, auto five, and those all equal six. So I'm going to just take you through this really quick to show you. So if you go down to auto zero, okay, right here, what we want that to be is uh, button B. This is going to be button B on our Super Nintendo, okay? So it's already set at button B, but let's say I wanted something else. You just use the joystick to cycle through the various selections, but let's stop it on B, okay? Then I want uh, button number one. Now, I'm just going to draw your attention to these key X, key S, key Q. That's if you're playing on an actual keyboard, so don't worry about that. Okay, so let's go back up to auto one. Whoops, went too quick. Okay, now auto one, we want our A button. And here we have button A. That's what we want. Okay, and so it's set to A. Now you already know how to set them because I've shown you how to do that. All you have to do is set button zero, one, two, three, four, five. And if you look here, you can see it right there. So we have button zero is B, button one is A, button two pardon me, is down here, and it's our R shoulder button, okay? Then we're going to go and do button three, which is right here, and that's going to be our Y button, which is here. I don't have to keep pulling this out. You're going to guess X is coming next, okay? Button four is X, and then button five is our left shoulder button, this guy right here. Once that's all done, what you want to do is you have to press your back button. You want to go out, okay? You want to get to this screen, this controls. Now, because this is a fighting game, you want to go up to save game remap file. This will save it just for Super, uh, sorry, just for Street Fighter 2. So you press this A button, you're going to see this. It says the remap file saved successfully. Now, anytime you call up Street Fighter 2, it's going to have that remap. So that's awesome. So I'm going to back out of this for a minute, and I'm going to back out of this game. Now, let's go down to something else. Let's go pick um, this wonderful, awesome game, Spider-Man and X-Men Arcade's Revenge. Why did I pick this one? I don't know. Maybe I hate myself. I actually beat this game back in the day. Uh, I don't know if I should be proud of that, but it was pretty hard, i got to say. That's a testament to how much time I, free time I had on my hands. But one thing this thing has is an awesome soundtrack. Look at that. Steve Vai guitars. Everything's just awesome. Anyway, I love this. 
game's not very good, but it's, it's got a charm to it. I don't know. So here we go. Let's get into this thing. It's going to rock out. Yeah. All right. Good enough. All right. Let's go over to Spidey. Okay. So I wanted this game. Get ready, Spider-Man. I wanted this game to jump with this button, to shoot the webs with this button, and to web swing with that button. Now, it was not set up to do that, so I had to do the old RetroArch menu deal. Press that, go back down to my controls. There we go. And I had to go into my port one controls, as I've shown you, and I had to set them up there the way I wanted to. Button zero is my B button. Okay, let me just make sure that's right, is my B button. Button one, auto one, is my Y button. That's a little bit different, but that's the way I wanted it set up. You can set up however you like, okay? And then button two, that is my X button, which on here is here. So you probably wouldn't want to play this way, but that's the way I had it set, and that's the way I like it. And so when I'm done, I'm going to back out of this, back out of the retro arc menu. Actually, no, I don't need my hotkey. I'm going to go to save... Uh, game remap file and it's going to save it successfully and that's awesome so let's just back out of here and let's back out of here for a minute now we're going to go into something that's a lot easier just for example let's go over to nintendo okay and there's super mario brothers uh, let's just go to super mario brothers let's call that up now this will be a lot easier but we're going to do something slightly different this time because remember the soup the regular nintendo only has two buttons just b and a so let's call this up I already have the core saved already, but I just want to show you how to do that. The way I like to play this game is I like to have my speed button, my run button here, and my jump button here, okay? So if I wanted to set that, I go into this. Again, there's my quick menu. I'm in the retro arch menu. I go down to controls, okay? I'm going to press that. Go down to port one controls, okay? And then on button zero... Uh, where's my button zero? I have B. Okay, that's this guy. Button one, auto one, is going to be A. That's all I want. Now, that's going to work for every NES game. So I'm going to back out of this just with the back button. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to save it as a core remap file. So every Nintendo game I call up will be saved with that particular, with that this being B and this being A. And that's all she wrote. So let's save it. Save successfully. And now, whoops, no information. Okay, and that's it. That's literally all you have to do. So please take a moment to like, subscribe, share, turn your notifications on. And remember, if you're not messing around with retro art, what are you doing? I'll see you next time, friends.